Hey, I'm Eric from Curbside Cycle, and today we're gonna to talk about the Bullet electric cargo bikes. So Larry vs. Harry is a company out of Copenhagen, Denmark. And Copenhagen, Denmark is the home of the Long John cargo bike, which is what you're looking at here. So Long John cargo bike was originally a bike meant for freight transport. It was a two-wheeled bike that was all about monetizing speed and distance. So it had to be really fast in corners, it had to be really light for uphills, and it had to be really, really durable because these were being ridden by bike messengers who are notoriously very hard on their bicycles. So if you go to Denmark, you'll notice that most cargo bikes are actually three wheels. So the Larry vs. Harry project was all about resurrecting the two-wheeled long john cargo bike. So what makes the Larry vs. Harry so special is that it's one of the only cargo bikes in the market that really takes things seriously from a performance angle. And there's a reason why it's legendary among the bike messenger community. This is a bike that's almost half the weight of most of its competitors, is very, very stiff feeling when you go around corners, incredibly well positioned for speed, cornering and acceleration. But in no way does that mean that the Larry vs. Harry cargo bike is meant strictly for freight operations. This is a bike that's really, really great to put your kids in as well. So we find we sell a lot of bullet cargo bikes to people who just had a kid and find that they're not riding nearly as much as they used to. So the advantage here is that you can just put the kid in the front, you hop on the seat, you can go for that nightly ride or that daily ride like you used to, and both of you are having fun, both of you are creating really awesome memories. And of course, the Larry vs. Harry Bullet is still, in essence, a freight cargo bike, which is why it's used by DHL across Europe and here in North America by FedEx. So if you're looking for a cargo bike, you're going to find that the Larry vs. Harry Bullet is very different from other two-wheeled options. Most options on the market have a really long wheelbase and really, really slack upright geometry so that you're positioned high above traffic. The Bullet, on the other hand, is shorter in terms of its wheelbase, so there's less bike going into corners. It has a steeper head angle in the front, so you're getting better cornering, and you've got a steeper seat angle right here so that your pelvis is tilted more over top of the crankset, which gives you better accelerative power. And of course, the Bullet's also half the weight of most of its competition, which means that it's really light up hills and has this nice feathery feel. The other thing that a bullet has going for it, and it's hard to explain, is that it's really stiff. So what I mean by that is when you're going to a corner, the bike isn't sort of bowing or flexing at all. And the reason for that is a bullet is a complete welded unit. It's not split into two, as most cargo bikes in the market are. So there's many ways to configure a bullet cargo bike, and we, here at Curbside have made a couple choices on how we configure the ones that we sell. So what we've done is we've created a two-prong approach to how we build the Bullet Cargo Bike. Number one, we build it as a really low maintenance platform for the all-season cyclist, especially in the Northeast. So the second way we build it is as a super high-performance cargo bike. So it's got a big motor, even bigger battery, and a wide, wide range of gears. So both bikes use the Shimano motors, and there's a reason why Bullet uses Shimano motors instead of, say, Bosch or Yamaha. So Shimano is a bike company. They're not making fridges, they're not making pianos, they are a true blue bike company. So the Shimano motor really feels like it's reading your mind. There's a real sort of bike body correlation. It's high tuning means that it's very reactive to situations where you're braking or you're accelerating, and you can really feel it. So the first bullet we're gonna talk about is the bullet with the Shimano E6100 motor. So the Shimano E6100 motor is a lower torque motor, it's about 60 newton meters of torque, which is honestly more than you'd ever need for a lightweight cargo bike like this. Now we build this bike up with a Nexus 5 hub, which is the only internal gear hub on the market made for electric assist motors, and a Gates belt drive. That means you've got a super low maintenance bike that's designed for all season riding, no matter what you do. Whereas a regular bicycle chain lasts for maybe 4,000 kilometers, the Gates belt drive runs for 30,000 kilometers, which is really compelling to say delivery companies who want a low maintenance bike to put into their fleet. The Nexus 5 hub is internal, so your gears are actually inside the hub. So if you store the bike outside year round or you use the bike outside year round, it's super low maintenance. So the battery on E6100 build is 418 watts. That gives you about 90 to 100 kilometers on a single charge, which is pretty impressive. But one thing that's really cool about the Shimano uh, system is that it uses something called DI2. DI2 means that your shifting is actually electric, so there's no cable inside the shifter anymore. 
And that means that your shifter cables won't freeze up, for instance, if you are riding all season, which this bike is clearly meant to do. The electric shifting is highly precise, very, very accurate. The other cool thing about the DI2 system is that it has the option of automatic shifting. And that means that you can sort of set it and forget it. So as you're riding along, the bike is basically thinking for you as it shifts, putting you into the right gear when you need it. So the second bullet bike that we build uses the Shimano EP8 motor. So the essence of a bullet cargo bike is built around performance. So in many ways, the EP8 build really brings out that performance. A big motor, lots of juice in the battery, and a huge gear range. So the EP8 build uses the Shimano XT drivetrain. So we're talking two chainrings in the front for a high-low gear range and a massive 1142 cog set in the back. And if you're wondering what 1142 means, it means that the small cog is 11 teeth, which is for speed, and the 42 tooth cog, which is really bigger than the, the chainring up front, is designed for uphill climbing. This bike has a climbing gear that rivals most mountain bikes on the market. The battery on the EP8 uses a 504 watt battery, so it's significantly bigger than the E6100's battery, which is only 418 watts. So why a bigger battery? This bike actually does the same distance per charge as the E6100 bike, which is about 100 kilometers. It's just that you are using so much more power with this more powerful motor that you need that bigger battery. So the difference between the E6100 and the EP8 build is that the E6100 build doesn't really have the same gear range as the EP8. If you're riding the E6100 bike, you might find that when you're going up a really big hill, you kind of run out of gears. Now to many that's not a big deal, you have a motor after all, so all you need to do is just ramp up the assist and you can climb up that hill easily. So the EP8 build is for what you might call a purist rider. They want to always have a gear to get up that hill no matter what, whether they're using the motor or not. So that's why this bike has such a massive gear range. And if you're using the motor, you have crazy power, much more than the E6100. So you kind of get the best of all worlds. So one thing that's different about Bullet from say other cargo bikes is that there is no box that comes with it. You basically have this part right here, which is called the chassis, and it's there for you to put whatever you want on it. So there's several different ways to carry kids and cargo on the Bullet cargo bike. So the canopy kit is made of three parts. First is the honeycomb board, which is the base plate that goes onto the chassis. This is absolutely essential. Second is the foldable seat. So the foldable seat is really cool. Not only does it recline, and not only is it really, really comfortable, it also folds up, taking only 10 centimeters of the chassis space. And finally, there's the canopy itself, and this thing's amazing. It's basically a roll bar that wraps around a child from the top and bottom, and also has side protection for impact resistance. In the summertime, you can roll it up. It has a bug net, so the child can stay cool. And in the winter, it keeps the kids warm, and of course, because it's waterproof, it keeps them dry. So if you're carrying two kids inside the bullet, we recommend the Convoy Evo Kit. This is an impact resistant aluminum box that's super strong and really lightweight. It carries two kids side by side with three point harnesses. It keeps the weight of the bike very, very low, so you still get excellent handling. And there's the option for a canopy as well, which keeps the kids dry. The third kit, which is more of an open air kit, is great if you live in places where it doesn't rain that much. So this kit is composed of three parts. One is a honeycomb board, which forms a floor on the chassis. Two is a foldable seat, which again, reclines, is super comfortable, and only takes 10 centimeters of space when it's folded up. And three is the BBX side panels. Now these side panels are super light, highly impact resistant, and they come in the color of your bullet. If you're carrying cargo on the bullet, there's multiple ways you can do that as well. Many companies just choose to leave the chassis empty and they'll use bungee cords or any sort of system to tie down freight. Another way to carry freight is the cargo kit. Now this is composed of two pieces. One is the honeycomb board, which forms a floor on the base of the bullet chassis. Two is the BBX side panel kit, which forms a box around the chassis and features a waterproof cover. If you're a business and you're carrying freight for commercial use, we also carry the full line of Convoy products. They can be custom ordered, and if you're interested, please contact us for details. Now the bullet uses a really clever geometry that fits most people. If you're really, really tall, you can ride the seat post right about here. And if you're shorter, the seat post is gonna go all the way down to about there. Now, one of my favorite things about the Bullet Cargo Bike is that it has this Satori adjustable stem. You simply open up this quick release and the stem will go all the way up to here, offering a much 
higher and more upright riding position. So one of the reasons why the bullet is so light is that it's made out of aluminum. So most cargo bikes in the market are about 120 pounds up to 150 pounds. The bullet is a mere 70 pounds with an electric assist. You simply couldn't do what I'm doing right now with most cargo bikes in the market. This bike is super light. The other great advantage of aluminum is that if you are storing the bike outside year round, it's completely rust proof. For a bike that goes as fast as a bullet, you need really good brakes. So all the bullet bikes come with hydraulic disc brakes. Now these aren't just any hydraulic disc brake, they are four piston hydraulic disc brakes, which basically means you get double the power of a conventional disc brake. Now what do I mean by hydraulic? Hydraulic means that there's no cable inside of the housing right here. There's hydraulic fluid. That means you get two things. One, unlimited power. And two, there's nothing to freeze in the winter, which cables often do, which means that you truly have an all season bike. Another cool thing about the Bullet is that it comes with a really great light set. It's powered by a Buschenmuller, which is made in Germany, light set that really lights up the night. And you can just turn it on by pressing this button right here. Thanks for watching. Check out the links below for more information on the eBullet cargo bikes. If you want a more in-depth analysis of Bullet, you can read our Why Bullet blog, which really dives into the company history. If you have any other further questions on Bullet, you're welcome to drop by our store on Blur Street or book an online sales appointment. And if you want to stay in the cycle, you can subscribe below to our YouTube channel.